everyone, I'm Stephanie from the American Welding Society. This is my daughter, Briley. Um, as many of you know, a passion of mine is encouraging young kids to get into this awesome trade of welding. So in honor of National Welding Month, I decided it might be a good idea to show you guys some easy spring projects to get your kids out of the house and into the shop. For today's project, we're gonna be making this little succulent plant holder here that my lovely assistant is showing you all. Now, there's a bunch of ways that you can put this together, but the one that I'm gonna show you is gonna focus on uh, teaching your kids some tape measure reading skills, uh, cutting, whether you wanna use a plasma cutter, grinder, or an oxy fuel torch, and then tack welding with a MIG welder. Uh, feel free to even, instead of cutting each piece individually, you can always bend them and then just have um, them tack them up that way, but that'll limit the amount of actual arc time that they're gonna get, so the way that I'm doing it is gonna allow the most amount of arc time for this small project. So the materials you're going to need for today's project is going to be some sheet metal, a quarter inch round rod. Now you can switch out the quarter inch round rod with maybe some eighth inch steel filler wire. Same with the sheet metal. I'm using 22 gauge and you can swap this out for maybe even something a little thicker. I wouldn't go anything thinner because that's going to be really, really difficult for the kids to weld. Now for the material we cut, we have three triangular pieces. Two of them are triangles that are cut with one nine inch side, one eight inch side, and one five and a quarter. And the other one is five and a quarter, and then the other two sides are eight and eight. Um, Bradley's gonna tell you what we cut out of the quarter inch round rod. So for the quarter inch round rod, we cut three pieces that are five inches okay. and then we cut four pieces that are eight inches eight inches and then this last one we only cut one of those eight and a half inches. eight and a half inches awesome all right now that we have all of our pieces all cut we're ready to rock and roll and get this thing welded up so first what we're going to do is we're going to take our four eight inch cut pieces lay them out into about a diamond shape we're going to take one of our five inch pieces and lay that in the center of the diamond and that'll give us our spacing that we're going to need. And now once we have it laid out, we're ready to tack this thing up. And Briley here, she's going to do the honor of welding this thing out. So Briley did a really good job tacking this diamond up. So now we're going to add these last two five inch pieces. So they're gonna go on either ends of the five inch pieces that we already tacked in. And they're gonna be pitched inward so that they're touching at the tips. You will want to get um, a square just to kind of lay it in there to make sure that got a good 90 degrees on these two pieces here. of our planter holder all together. We're gonna to want to put the base part together with our sheet metal. Uh, make sure you dial back that machine quite a bit or else you're gonna have some majorly upset kids when they're blowing holes through all this sheet metal. Um, you can really only put this triangle pieces together one way. Um, so line up the eight inch sides and the nine inch sides and you got yourself a cool little pyramid. pyramid piece all tacked up and we got our frame all tacked up so we're finished with the welding now uh, now it comes down to the finishing you can leave this as rough and raw as you like or you can really go crazy and uh, sand this all up get a flapper wheel on there some sanders on there uh, make her look real pretty before paint or you might want to clear coat it like this so that you know all the world can see the, the welds in all their glory um, so what we're going to do is we're going to get this sanded up and painted and then we'll take some finished pictures once we're finished. Okay. And here's my finished project. I hope you guys like this video. 
And be sure to tag the American Welding Society and Underground Metalworks in all of your springtime projects. Thanks for watching. Bye! Bye.